Good morning, I'm Randy Micheletti, Vice President and Director of Account Service for Gaia Leon. I'd like to talk to you a little bit this morning about new product launches. Launching a new product in, uh, within any company can be exciting and it can be invigorating and you know there's a thrill in the air. However, there's a lot of things that can be, need to be done. So it can also be a little bit hectic. You know, research needs to be done, uh, strategies need to be planned, and you only really get one chance to launch your product. So as you launch that product uh, the first time out of the gate, it will help with incremental sales and revenue. So everything needs to be planned extremely tight. Uh, so today I kind of like to walk you through, we have six different areas or six different uh, uh, processes that we use here at Gaia Leon to ensure that every launch is successful. So today I'd like to walk you through those six steps. Okay, so the first step that you really need to understand as you launch your product is the market overview and what your goals for that product are. That starts with launch goals. What do you want the launch to look like? Uh, is it more about awareness? Is it about sales? You need to really set those key performance index for, for your launch, which is, I mean, extremely important. The other thing that you really need to truly understand is the competitive landscape. Um, who are your competitors? Are there primary competitors? Are there secondary competitors? Uh, how, they, how did they enter the market? What is their messaging? What does their creative look like? Those are all extremely uh, important components uh, that will affect your launch. Target markets, of course. Where are you going to launch this? Who are the people that you're going to be talking to? Uh, you might even want to start building personas for some of those customers. What is the opportunity that your product fills in the market? Uh, is this a new product that's coming to market? Is it a, is it a healthy uh, product that's already out there and you're just filling another role? Uh, those are things that are extremely important to take into consideration as you launch your product. And finally, what does success look like in year one? As I stated earlier, is your success index based on sales? Is your success, success index based on uh, awareness? Um, all of those need to be determined and strategized before you actually launch your product. Uh, step two in our process is really conducting channel research and secondary research. So uh, we are big believers within a product launch that we talk to some of the folks that are going to be affected by the launch, distributors, uh, manufacturers, end users, people like that that will have a say in whether your product is successful or not. Also secondary research, is there qualitative or quantitative research that needs to be done? Uh, both product and message testing, those are all extremely important aspects of your launch and needs to be done up front uh, so that you have a, a clear landscape for your product and a clear message strategy for your product. So the third step of the process is developing your brand positioning and messaging. Um, here at Gaia Leon, we're big believers in brand positioning. But with any new product launch, we would really suggest uh, not just the brand positioning, but an entire brand architecture. Um, this will ex uh, help extremely uh, satisfy what your unique points of difference are for your brand. So within that architecture, you have your positioning, you also have your brand attributes that, we, that can be developed, and then you also have your brand personality and tone, which are really important as you're communicating that external message to your audience. The fourth step in our process is really developing the overall communications and marketing plan. And, and as you're probably familiar with, that plan includes things such as your media plan, um, all of your tactics and elements that you'll be using, whether you're doing a uh, print plan or a digital plan, a PR plan, um, all of those contents should be housed within this document. Our fifth step in the process is the creative concepting and develop. Now this is the fun part. Everybody loves to get involved at this part. Uh, once all the hard work is done up front and you really understand who your brand is, now it's really time to bring it to life. Uh, you're meeting with your creative team to review the brief, your platform, and out of that platform and brief comes the, uh, the creative process and your creative elements that you design. So the last step in the process is the implementation and the performance review. Uh, now that you have all of your creative complete, uh, any advertising that needs to be placed, you need to pitch the media for PR, you need to place your media, whether it's uh, television or radio or digital, things like that. All of that needs to be in place. And then once that's in place and your product is launched, you're going to want to, at least in the first quarter or every quarter, uh, really review that to, to truly understand how the new product is performing. So in summary, I hope this information uh, was helpful to you. I know there's uh, a lot of other processes that are out there and other steps that need to be taken, but I just wanted to kind of get you off to a, a quick start on what it takes for product launches. If you have any other questions or would you like to discuss this even further, uh, just give us a call here at uh, Gaia Leon and we'd be happy to spend some time on the phone with you.